There's not much to see in Mombasa. The only thing probably that you can see is are these tusks and the Jesus Ford, which you can easily see on the way back or to the airport. Hello, I am in Diani in Kenya. Welcome to Africa. This is my first time here and I'm super excited. So let me go show you a little bit of this gorgeous place. I can hear the beach and I'm already excited. Danny is a real stunner. If you're coming here, there is an airstrip here. You can land directly or you can come through Mombasa like I did because international flights come there. This is the best way to travel in Danny. Anywhere. Public transport, use Uber and Taxify or Tuk Tuk. There are no cabs here, or you can get a taxi from your hotel, which is always going to be more expensive. There's a single road on which everything is located and there's quite a lot to do here so you won't get bored in like, honestly, in like four or five days. Um, I had four days here, which I am really loving. Let's go see some of Diani.
I'm in front of the Columbus Conservation Project to take care of these beautiful black and white monkeys that are indigenous to this area only in Kenya. They also help with the reforestation of the area, take care of them with their wedding, etc. It's not a guarantee that you will see them up and close, the nine cages, but I still highly recommend that you come here to learn not just about them, about the area and other species of monkey that are quite frequent, like baboons and uh, badgers, etc. So, do come here. It is necessary because it's a sacred place, a place of worship. So they go in wearing this because it's traditional and hence I'm doing it. Kanondo Sacred Forest. It's located on the other side of Downey Beach. It's an amazing place to come for an hour and a half to learn about Digo culture. It's also a protected area by the Kenyan government because they are trying to protect the culture. It's called the Sacred Forest mainly because it is sacred to this day for the Digo people who come here for their sacred rituals. In order to come in, you will have to have a guide with you, which is very helpful because you'll get lost. It's very easy here and you will need to wear this, which you will see, but they provide you with that. So we're going to see some mangrove forests on River Congo for the sunset. So I'm already excited. This is our canoe. And this is our extra guest who wants to come with us.
it's my last day here and I plan to do nothing today, which is exactly what I'm doing apart from getting a massage and chilling by the beach. And then I'm heading to Vatamu after lunch, so I'll see you guys there.